Hey guys, this is Michael, aka Epsilon Minus, and this is the deck tech for my round one opponent, Justin. Uh, he's running an archetype you don't see a lot of in Classic. You'll definitely see a little bit more of it in Legacy. He's running a Pox deck. Um, it's almost mono black, but he has a green splash for Nature's Claim and Deed out of the board. Um, basically, the idea of this deck is it's kind of a resource denial deck. It attacks your hand with cards like Inquisition, Thoughtseize, Hymn to Turok, as well as attacking your creature base with cards like Innocent Blood, the Liana, Smallpox, as well as your lands with uh, Sinkhole, Smallpox, uh, Wastelands with Crucible to recur them. Interestingly, he's not running Strip Mine, and I'm not quite sure why, especially since he does have the Wastelands. Uh, and he also has Cursed Scrolls, another kind of creature control type measure. And uh, his kill conditions are Tomb Stalker, which is usually expensive, but since he's putting a lot of cards into the graveyard with his uh, hand destruction and stuff like that, he uh, basically kind of rips up your hand, has a bunch of stuff in the graveyard, casts this guy, and beats you down. Nether Spirits, another win condition. It's pretty easy to have him be the only creature in the graveyard, and it makes his creature sacrifice effects uh, asymmetrical. And he's also running four Misha's Factories, which can be recurred with Crucible. Um, as far as the rest of his lands, he's got four Wastelands, four Bayous for the Green Splash that I mentioned, four Verdant Catacombs to fetch up those Bayous, a Cavil Pit, which is not a card you see a lot, but uh, basically it's part of the... I forget what set it was from, but it was this cycle of lands. I think the one that sees most plays is Barbarian Ring, which is the red one that lets you sack the land to deal damage. This one lets you sack the land to give a car target creature minus two, minus two once you get threshold. And he's got four swamps and three herb orcs, which basically turn all of his uh, mana sources into swamps. Uh, sideboard's pretty scary. Nullrod's not going to do a lot against me, neither is Leyline or Nature's Claim, but the rest of this stuff is pretty good. Extirpate's just a generally good card in general. I realized I just said generally in general in one sentence. Uh, I've run it in my own deck. It's extremely versatile and can be crippling against the right deck. Uh, he's running a lot of mass creature kill. He's got toxic Deluge, Pernicious Deed, Engineered Plague is really scary because I'm a tribal deck so he can name Human and uh, really put a crimp into my strategy. Uh, I would say overall this is probably not the greatest matchup for me. I don't really have a lot in my deck for this. Uh, one of the disadvantages of playing kind of a metagame focused deck is if you run into a rogue strategy that's trying to attack you from a different angle it can be kind of difficult I think rest in peace can be good against him because it makes his tomb stalkers hard to cast stops his crucible recursion and stuff like that but uh, it'll definitely be an uphill climb so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the match